Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss how to run and interpret in Agros Gel. To do this, we will need PCR product, loading die, DNA ladder, 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 microliter pipettes, TBE or a similar buffer, a gel electrophoresis box, an electrophoresis power supply, and an Agros Gel. The DNA ladder is used to scale the length of the DNA that was amplified. Fill the gel box up to the fill line with TBE and gently place your agarose gel into the box. Pipette 1 microliter of DNA ladder into the well furthest to the left of the agarose gel. Leaving one space between the DNA ladder and the PCR product, begin pipetting each 5 microliters of product into separate wells. GoTac Green already contains loading dye, so you do not need to add loading dye to the DNA. If your PCR product is missing loading dye, add 2 microliters of loading dye to 3 microliters of each PCR product. Once all products are placed inside their individual wells, place the cover on the gel box and turn on the power supply. Be sure that the power supply is set to about 106 volts. Let the gel run for about 20 minutes. You will know that your gel is running successfully when you see tiny bubbles rising from the bottom. Now that the gel has been run, turn off the machine and place the gel under a black light. The first row of bands is the DNA. The further down the gel they are, the more base pairs there are, and the brighter the color, the higher the concentration. These extra bands are primer dimers. The primers have amplified instead of the target DNA. It is not a huge problem unless all you see is the primer dimer bands. 